I always thought when I saw younger homeless people, oh, they just don't want to follow their parents' rules. And me becoming homeless, I started realizing that's not always the case. I walked around all night because <laughs> I didn't know like where to go. I was what you call hidden homeless, where you're couch surfing all the time. We had a house, but tragic things happened and it made us homeless. We were welcomed by some guy sleeping on the floor. And he was like, you guys don't belong here. And we were like, yeah, we do. Go here holistically at Covenant Houses to really connect them with a bigger picture, right? And give them the support system that they need to end that cycle of homelessness. The way I explain it to people is in the first 10 minutes of your day, everything that you touch, our youth didn't have that. Transgendered youth, gay youth, straight youth, any youth that meets our criteria that doesn't have a safe place to live is welcomed. Period. My name is Jennifer Munoz. I'm 20 years old. My name is Rhett, and I'm 20 years old. Hi, I'm Adam, and I'm 23 years old. Ellery Burnett, 24 years old. I am a Shia, um, just turned 20, and um, I live here. <laughs> We've been in the Covenant House for at least seven months. I was on the waiting list for the Covenant House. You know, after that day, I was accepted here. I had, to, I had to fight to get in here, actually. Everyone in here, they're not all the same. We don't want to come at them like the system because youth tell us consistently that the system has failed them. I went four years undiagnosed with schizophrenia. I'm diagnosed schizophrenic as of a year ago. I grew up in and out of foster care. I got emancipated because um, I aged out. I was on skid row for about two weeks. I had to live in a car to be able to graduate high school. I was just thinking about my mom. I know she felt like she Failed. Yeah, she felt like she was failing us. I remember I used to get like one of the big cookies and a bottle of milk for like $2.53 and I think that was what I would eat that day. I was on the street, I didn't have anything. I, I literally had the clothes on my back. That was it. They offer you clothes if you need it. They give you a warm meal every day, a shower, and a bed to sleep on. Comfortable bed at that. Not only do we keep them safe from the street, but we're trying to figure out the job that's gonna pay the bill and then also help them dream for the job that's gonna you know, buy them a house one day. I work here, I work at the Covenant House right now. The Covenant House has a program that's called um, Five Keys Charter, and basically you get a high school diploma. They offer you stability to get where you need to get to. You got your own apartment, it's like they're training you for it. They teach us a lot about like exercise and healthiness. We're volunteering and we're going to classes and music There's classes like and so hiking. There's so many productive things yeah. to do. Pretty much all the staff here double as mentors. You can just walk up to anybody and talk to them about an issue you're having. Say hi, just tell me I'm fabulous. Like, I need that every once in a while. Just for me reminded that I am who I am and I'm a great person. It's not exactly just a shelter. It's just kind of like home. You're not a homeless youth. That is a situation that you're in, but you're funny, you're caring, you're an artist, you have all those other things. Being homeless is not your identity. We all have that mindset to go somewhere in life. High school diploma, I think that's first. I'm hoping to be a college graduate. Maybe a part-time job, my dog back. I want to major uh, most likely in like theater art. I want to be an actress when I grow up, or a politician. I want to be a chef. I want to make video games. Being part of the art department and Local 44. Yeah, moving forward, I'm finding a job. Once I get those things, I'm going to be someone that comes back to help. There are so many opportunities for us to do more and to be more innovative and to create programs and housing for our youth, but that takes money. We provide individual counseling and case management for every single youth on campus. That's a big, big commitment and, and also another cost. They have a therapist that's on site. If you need anything medical, they have it. Any money that comes in goes towards helping us. It's giving someone hope that they can get out of here by having the things that they need. Covenant doesn't just help us, it helps the community. The most amazing thing about it is getting something from a complete stranger who thinks you're beautiful and amazing. I mean, if we were all thought we were beautiful and amazing to strangers, I think the world would be a better place. We're saving lives. I mean, at the end of the day, you're saving somebody's life.